What's up everybody, MagicWithRacingNews.com here to preview a big race at Santa Anita Park on Sunday, February 5th. That's the Grade 3 San Marco Stakes, a big race with a really nice field of 10 older horses and a big race that they have to complete a mile and a quarter on the grass at Santa Anita. This is a, a Grade 3 race, like I said, with a $200,000 purse. When you're talking about grass horses in California, you know it always has to start with trainer Phil D'Amato. He's got four entered in here and I'm going to make one of them my top pick. But that's the two master of Fox Hounds, Umberto Rispoli uh, getting back aboard this horse. He rode him three back going a mile and a quarter over this same course uh, last October. The grade two John Henry Turf Cup uh, went gate to wire in that spot, held on to win by a neck. A horse has shown before in, in earlier races in his career that he can sit off the pace a little bit too, uh, just in case somebody wants to push him or possibly the one Evan Harlan on the rail uh, gets sent early. But uh, Phil D'Amato and Umberto Rispoli hitting at 31% with a 245 ROI together at Santa Anita. Uh, as long as he doesn't get cooked into a big pace duel with the one or can't settle for whatever reason, I think he's got a huge chance to get the win. Phil D'Amato probably going to get the exacta, and that's going to lead me to a horse that has struggled to win uh, with a jockey that has struggled to win at Santa Anita. And that's Flavian Pratt on the four Prince of Bama. This horse is 0 for 6 at Santa Anita in his lifetime, but he's got three seconds and a third. And Flavian Pratt so far at the meet, uh, he's placed in 11 of the 18 races he's ridden for Phil D'Amato. He's only got one win. Uh, both of the, the horse and the jockey, I think, got a great chance to hit the board here. Uh, five to one on the morning line. I think you're going to, um, I, th I think you're going to get that horse bet around that range, maybe a little lower there. Uh, so if you're playing exotics, do not use him in the win spot. Save yourself a little bit of money. Key even second or third, possibly, uh, with Pratt aboard there. Uh, but, you know, like he did win the Hollywood Turf Cup uh, going a mile and a half at Del Mar, two races back. So you know that he can get the distance. A mile and a quarter should be no issue for him here. As far as a long shot goes, I mean, I do like the, the favorite uh, Dicey Mochara, the seven horse. He's three to one, though, and it, I got to take a stand somewhere, right? I'm using two uh, D'Amato horses here. Let's get away from the D'Amato barn if you're looking for a real long shot. Check out the five. Yes, this time. Uh, going to be making its first start for Mark Glatt after racing on the East Coast. And one thing we always say is when it comes to turf racing, East Coast almost always better than the West Coast. You got a horse making its first start over here. I think you're going to get every bit of that 12 to 1 as well. But a horse that did win the grade 3 Kent Stakes at Delaware Park in 2021 is a three-year-old and uh, almost won the Dueling Grounds Derby going a mile, or at 5 16 at Kentucky Downs. Uh, Hasn't gotten a win since the Kent Stakes, and that is the kind of the concern. But I think this horse has got a really strong chance to at least get up and hit the board. And like I said, at a very square price, you're getting Joe Bravo, who's one of the uh, one of the best turf riders for sure in California right now. Especially if you put him on a long shot like this, I think this horse is going to have a heck of a chance. Uh, just got to hope that the the form of, of facing tougher horses over in East Coast and and consistently coming up short of winning. Hopefully this horse has still got some edge left in him here. But that's where I'm going. What do you think? Well, plenty of options to go. There are the two other D'Amato horses. Say the word is, is in here and with 4-1 to one morning line. He's got a chance. Uh, cash equity with Phil D'Amato's stepdaughter, Jessica Piper, riding. Uh, he's got a chance, I think, to hit the board. Is you know He's placed in 7 of 9 at the distance in his career, and three of those are wins. So uh, you could do a lot worse than the other, other, other D'Amato horse in here as well. But let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about the Great Through San Marcos Stakes at Sandia Park? Hell of a betting race. Good luck if you're playing. Make sure you subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel. We'll see you at the track. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.